Hi guys, welcome to this week's episode with us at RGJ Trains at David Junction. So we're still cold and it's just getting colder. So yeah, um, you might find through this episode that things don't kind of go as planned. Um, but we're here, we're doing the intro, um, which is why, um, yeah. So the plan is for this week... Um, Rob is going to have a look again at this inner loop, so thank you to everybody's comments, sorry I've got a really itchy nose there, um, thank you to everyone's comments and help, we are going to take a bit more of a track to sort another curve that could potentially cause issues, so Rob is going to be doing that, taking more up and planning again, were you looking at the TMD that side, I'm not sure, or? Um, might have a look at doing the TMD start well the the points for the tmd starting from here seeing as the tracks are going to be coming up anyway yeah um so that might be changing the entrance to the tmd as well they say things happen for a reason um because our initial one was up where there's going to be a cross before it goes into the tunnel then my job all being well is i'm going to be looking at painting wall finally with the airbrush um so we've got all this behind me at the moment we're kind of leaving that to next to be done on the list for reason being is over at the extension um just so we can get the boards up because to be honest every time we're taking the boards up and down it's just getting in the way you know big boards when you've not got much room it, it's trying to work around it so i'm hopefully going to get those clouds done just so the boards can go there and they're not going to be in the way then so yeah guys i think that is our plan for this week's episode you mentioned a naughty word the plans, plans, yeah. Plans never go to plan. Uh, we just give up with them. But yes, no, not at all, GJ. We don't. We don't. Well, we try to plan, but we go awry. Yeah, this is true. Um, so yeah, guys, that is hopefully how it's going to go. But can we just ask everyone? You know, if you are, you know, we appreciate everyone that's involved with the channel. If you can like and comment, guys, as you always do, we love the feedback. Any feedback throughout the episodes, please let us know what you think. And if you're new to us, please hit that subscribe button. You know, it's lovely when we get new people on board. So a very big welcome to anybody that is new. Um, First, have it's, found... it's, it's not just about commenting to let us know what they think. It's commenting to let us know hints and tips as well. Sorry, that's what I meant on what well, Gracie's again. I translated it into English. Yeah, he translated it for me, guys, as usual. So, yes, we're going to crack on now and we shall see how this goes. And we'll catch you later on in the episode. Bye for now, guys. Take bye, Grace. It's not the end. Yeah. Oh, no, it's not, is it? No, it's not the end. I'll get it right. So, as Grace said, Rob's stuff up. Well, she didn't say that I did. Um, we have this curb here, which, again, is too tight for the likes of the um, Class 55 Deltic, the bigger locos. So this is another one. It's going to... We've got it stripped back to here so far. And if I zoom that down, I need to strip it roughly to where this end of this track is. I've got an R609 here, um, which I know they'll go around because that's what I replaced with on the far side. So I need to take this ballast up all the way across, replace it with the R609. I do have flexi track either end of it, so I can adjust that slightly to fit in with the, um, with the newer curve. But again, it's a matter of soak, soaking it with soapy water and letting it soak in and then ripping it up. Sad days. Right, so that's all the old track up. I have kept it 
the spare the flexi trap because obviously I need to use it with this piece now. I put a piece of uh, a couple of pieces of R six hundred nine in, so I know that this sixty five will run around that. I did find um, N gauge cork underneath this. My mistake, obviously. So I've got these pieces set, piece set in. I've got to join it from there to there with the points. I'm bringing a point off here because I want to come in here to the CMD to save having to dig up over the other side towards the tunnel. No, otherwise, that'll be more track having to go. Um, and with the help of some of our moderators, and especially to Jason, um, I'm going to look into learning how to do um, point motors. So I'll be buying those learning how to wire them up and then learning how to make a what's the word for it the control board for the switches because there are a few places here now where i do want points and obviously with switches it's, it's far easier so yeah that's the progress so far i've got to get some points ordered got to get some points motors orders and switches and something called a cbu um and that's the stage of mine so far and so I'll pass you on to Grace. We're doomed from a start, guys. We're here on yet another take. Um, as I tried to start it, I wasn't getting any paint out. It looks like my airbrush was dead. Um, a big massive thank you to Timber and Paul that have helped me get along. We now actually have bought a new airbrush um, because of it, and that is coming through. So I'm actually going to start painting now. Let's we'll see how it goes, and yeah, take whatever. guys as you can see we have clouds now i've still not obviously had much work with the airbrush it is a different airbrush different compressor so again it's getting used to things but i've added in a bit of color as well whoops oh yeah um i'm gonna look at maybe feathering that out a bit but guys i think we're at the end of this so thank you all once again as always um, and don't forget your likes and comments really really help us so hit that like button drop a comment and if you're new to the channel feel free to subscribe thank you very much say goodbye grace bye grace